watu wangu wa guvu karibuni sana oh my god guys niliwaletea story ya huyo mstana nikawaambia mambo yenye iliyompata uh, Saudi Arabia alirushwa kutoka kwa gorofa second floor na boss wake akavujika miguu but uh, mungu, mungu ni mzuri cuz you know yeye alikuwa anataka kumuua but mungu ni nani so alivujika tu miguu alafu akaweza kutoloka venye ali explain kuwa alitoroka alitoroka na you know alikuwa na ari crew ha alitumia magoti mpaka sasa akatoka nje ya gate akapata taxi na akaomba usaidizi mpaka sasa akapelekwa akapelekwa hosi so mtasikiza hapa mtamsikia and uh, let me tell you guys uh umstana size anaomba usaidizi cuz anataka kurudi nyumbani na kuna watu ametaja kwa hii video yenye nitawaekea hapa so kaidre guys na waomba kaidre nikieka hii video kaidre help to share this video ndio at least tuone uh, tuone kama itafikia watu wenye anaomba usaidizi kaidre share and uh, make sure pia ume like uke like itafikia watu wengi ya yeah. And if you are new in this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel. Na wapenda sana to my returning subscriber. Na wapenda sana karibuni. Msikize umschana chenya na waomba na chenya na omba. You know, the government of Kenya. So, skize ni hapa. Mi na ito glorious. Adi ambo juhuma. Niko Saudi. Nafanyo kazi Saudi kwa nafanya kazi Saudi nimekaa huko miezi tisa nimepata oh. shida kwa nyumba yenye nilikuwa nafanya kazi boss wangu alikuwa anataka nifanye kazi kwa nyumba mbili sasa mimi vile nilimkataza akanirusha alinirusha from second floor mpaka ground sasa vile nilirusha nilivunjika Ilivunjika hii mugu. Ilivunjika hapa. Amefanya sajari. Alafu hii ingine. Ndo hii ilipasuka hapa katikati. Imeshonwa. Hata ukiangalia imeshonwa. Kitu ni naomba tu watu wangu. Watu wa Kenya wajangu. Kwanza asua sana. Na muomba mwishimiwa Mike Songo. Alfred Mtua, Honorable Alfred Mtua, na waomba tumu nisaidie. Niko kwa hospitali, Jeda, mali naitua Jeda. Hii hospitali naitua King Fahad Hospital. Naomba tumu nisaidie, kwa zi wameniambia nitaenda second surgery. Nikitoka second surgery watani discharge, munisaidie tumu nipeleke nambani. Naomba tu kurudi nyumbani, naomba usaidisiwe. Kuomba sana mheshimiwa Mike Songo. Najua uko na roho ya utu. Naomba unisaidie nirudi nyumbani salama. Unirudishe nyumbani. Kwa sababu siwezi fanya kazi tena. Mungu moja imevunjika hii na ilipasuka siwezi fanya kazi tena. Sahi. Ah, honorable Alfred Mtua kwa shimu najua mko na roho ya utu mnasaidia watu naomba munisaidie msingiaje ukitoka hospitali naomba tu munisaidie niweze kurudi Kenya nyumbani naomba tu kurudi nyumbani ya hiyo tu aki tafadhali ni sisi wa Kenya tunakuja huku tu kufanya kazi na amani hatunanga mambo mingi mimi sijawahi kimbia kwa nyumba yenye niliwekwa niko tu but sasa mama alitaka nifanye kazi kwa nyumba mbili na mshahara ni ile ile sasa hiyo ndo ileleta shida mpaka kafikia mahali pa kunirusha najua penye yako hata anajua nimekufa lakini mimi nashukuru Mungu ni kwa msingi naomba tu saidisi wenu Munisaidia ni Rudi Kenya. Oh my god guys. Mumesikia mambo enye ilipata gururia. And let me tell you guys. It's really really sad. 
to see people blaming her akiwa kwa hii hari you know guys let me tell you saizi it's not time for brain game saizi si time ya ku brain gloria you know because hata kama alikemboi hata kama ali yeye mwenyewe aliruka kulingana na vinyo watu wanasema you know saizi ni ile time ya kumsaidia si time like ya kushinda hapo mkisema oh alifanya oh alifanywa nini you know saizi at twist it's time tujaribu tu vinyo anaweza saidika akiwa mtoto wenyewe arudi nyumbani imagine ameka mezi amesema mezi tisa just nine months kutoka hata hakuna kitu wallahi hakuna kitu wamefanyia kazi kwa the moment mtu ameladi huku kitu ya kwanza inafikiria anga kwanza zile mashimo ulikuwa ume you know hizo madeni ulikuwa nazo Kenya at least unaziripa hmm? unapata mwaka ya kwanza hata hujafanya kitu at least mwaka ya pili unajaribu sasa at least usipuka kitu hmm? imagine umstana hakuna kitu saa hizi ametoka nayo chenye ametoka nayo ni ugojwa ya yeah? chenye ametoka nacho ni niyo ni miguu unaona vyenye amefungwa umsichana alikuja na miguu yake saa hizi atarudi nyumbani na wheelchair unaona hapo hata kuinuka haezi hmm? na uchungu so it's it's really really sad akina watu wenye hawana huluma aki wala wengine warabu wengine tu ni Mungu tu ata wengine ni Mungu tu anaweza tu oh my god it's only god who can punish them cuz nakuambia hao watu watu wengine warabu wengine ile kiburi wanakuanga nayo ai wa hao watu wanakuanga na kiburi sana ha? unasikia venye huyu msichana amesema vizuri kuwa kazi alikuwa alikuwa aliambiwa afanye kazi nyumba mbili of which contract na kuanga imeandikwa unafaa kufanya kazi nyumba moja but boss wake cuz wamemchukua yani wana, wao wanafikiria tu wanafaa wamfanyishe kazi tu na asionge of which it's very very long you know yana ndio nawaambianga nawaambianga sana sana if mtu amekuja huku kufanya kazi na huku unaona hizo siku za kwanza kwanza <coughs> usikubali kufanyanga kila kitu wakikuambia hizo za siku za kwanza kwanza let them know who you are cuz unaona hizo siku za kwanza wakikuambia kitu alafu ufanye alafu sasa tena ukuje uh, one like sasa ume ulikuwa umeambiwa uoshange kwa shosho yao kwa brother brothers zao na unaosha alafu sasa ukikuja huku uelevuke ukuja huku tiktok ukuja huku youtube upate lusi hapa akisema unafaa kufanyia kazi nyumba moja ukienda sasa kuchej itakuwa ni shida you know so it's good kuwazoesha kitambo kuwa wewe unajielewa na unaelewa chenye chenye unafaa ufanye so hata mala ya kwanza unaona i don't think ilikuwa mala ya kwanza but kama ingekuwa mala ya kwanza hakuna venye wangebishana hivyo hapana that means maybe alikuwa amefanya kazi uh, lakini sasa hii ilikuwa ni time ya kukata of which it's very very long hawafai kufanyia mtu hivyo wako na option ya kurudisha mtu kwa ofisi wachukue mtu mwingine mwenye atakubali kufinyiliwa you know but let me tell you guys some some of these people are so evil yeah i know nimekaa na wao na nimejua ai nikiwa nyumba ya kwanza ungejaribu niambie kuna warabu wabaya au hiyo time ungeona but saa hizi i understand like kuna watu wazuri na kuna watu wabaya so guys let us pray for gloria acheni tumuombe mungu tuamponye cuz eh nakwambia it's it's sad ah alafu unajua venye ile ile mentality Kenya watu wanakuanga na imagine wakiona ukirudi ukirudi hivyo ukiwa kwa wheelchair wanaanza kusema oo oh, alienda tu na alikuwa anasikia venye huko kuna kuanga hmm? yani hiyo stress stress yani zinaweza chapa mtu alafu ukirudi nyumbani uende sasa umeenda maybe umeenda umetoka umetoka huko umeenda ushago na maybe hata huko umezoea maisha, maisha, maisha ya ushago maybe ulikuwa umetoka town ukapeleka watoto ushago sasa umerudi pale ushago Unaona watoto wako wanateseka na wewe uko tu pale unateseka. Let's pray. Gloria hataenda kuteseka. Uh, Mungu afungue jia at least asaidike. Yeah. So guys, uh, and maybe if you are there and uh, you uko na jia any you can help. Please kindly unaweza reach out kwangu. 
uh, I know Mari naweza toa sister yake najua sister yake although mimi sijaongea na ye in person but najua kuna group yenye niko na ako so uh, in case ukwe una, uko na usaidizi yote unaweza saidia grow ya nayo anajua mali sister yake yako naweza nikakutafutia namba alafu ongee na ye yeah but scammers hapa hakuna kazi yenu so guys nawapenda sana kueni na time poa may god be with you may god be with us have a nice time much love and take care bye bye Mwah.